Hi, I'm Wendy Simmons. I'm the president of Prism Energy Services that was recently acquired by Environ Energy. We have engineering and construction management. We perform energy audits. Then we recommend changes to the facility, to their systems. And then we actually install what we recommend. I got into this field completely by accident. I had a teaching degree. I was teaching. Wasn't particularly intellectually stimulated by that. And I decided that I wanted to get a job in business to be defined, right? I had no experience, so I didn't know what to expect. I got a job in an office as the office manager in an engineering firm that did the type of work that I ultimately ended up doing with my own company. So I did that for 15 years for someone else, kind of evolved and grew at that company and then ultimately went out on my own. Insights that I learned being an entrepreneur were that nothing stays the same. So basically, as soon as you get whatever situation you're in figured out, everything changes and then you have to figure it out all over again, over and over and over again. I didn't think about it much initially in terms of selling the business, but once I had an inquiry and an offer, then that was kind of on my radar and that was fairly early on. Not immediately, but I would say within the first five years or so. To prepare to be acquired, the biggest thing you need to do is get your mind zen with the fact that you're not going to be in control and you're not going to be in charge anymore and you have to be ready to let that stuff go. I worked on that over a decade. When you sell your business, it's a very long and pretty arduous process. You have some initial conversations, you have some meet and greets, and then you go into due diligence. So first you sign a term sheet that kind of outlines both parties' framework of what is going to be sold and what is going to be acquired. So they need to be aligned. From there, there's just the peeling away of layers of an onion of information, your insurance information, your payroll information, your financials, what contracts you have, what are the terms of the contracts, all the minutia of details, all of your expenses, what are all of your revenue streams, what are the profitability of each revenue stream. So we have a thousand questions, I think, on the final due diligence list. The pricing of the sale, I'm sure it can be accomplished in a number of different ways. I went to a broker and I was actually going to engage this broker to seek buyers. However, I had this unsolicited call in the meantime and that took off and kind of had a life of its own. And so I asked him if he would be willing to be a consultant to me. I would pay him his hourly rate. He was licensed in that sort of thing and performed the valuation and that was the basis for our asking price. Advice to a small business owner that wants to sell their business someday is create that flexibility and ability to evolve for the changing landscape of your marketplace. I think keeping abreast of what other folks are doing, other ways of creating value, it is about top line revenue and profitability, but building a team of really great people who stay and also having systems in place that allow you to bring in outside people and replicate that which is already being done. I'm most proud of the fact that as we grew, we remained nimble and flexible, willing and able to evolve because that's what is required for survival, period.